hey what's up in this edit I'm gonna look into a simple way you can freeze uh, the frames of your videos and it creates like a sequence or a ghost effect like you saw in the intro first thing you want to make sure is the footage that you use is pretty much still if you have too much movement then it's a bit too hard to do so here are the original clips here all I've done is I've just slowed it down at certain points uh, to 10% uh, and then use optical flow so the first thing you want to do is you want to find where you want to create this um, effect the first one I'm going to do on this rail here, I'm just going to move the slider until about there. This At this frame here, I want it to freeze, so I want her to freeze there on the rail, and then I want her to keep going and then that frame to stay there. And then I want to do it again about there and say there. So you want to slide it to where you want your first freeze frame, so say about there, okay? And that is at 10, 12. So you want to look at this time here and keep an eye on this. Okay. The next thing you want to do is this button up here. This might be different on certain versions, but this button here, if you click that, you've got here share the share options. If you don't have the save current frame, then go into add destination, and then you'll have it in here, and you just have to click save current frame, and then it will be um, in the options here. Now you want to save, you want to save this current frame. So remember this here 1012 okay because that's what you want to name it as 1012 uh, save current frame set next and I'm going to name it 1012 and then save so that's just save that current frame okay um, and I've named it 1012 so I'm just going to now go along a bit to about say there and at 1027 I'm going to again save that current frame and name it 1027 and I'll go along to about here uh, 1052 and save current frame 1052 so you want to input those frames that you just uh, saved and you want to import them into your projects so here you can see 1012 1027 and 1052 okay so here are the images so you want to find 1012 on the timeline here so you just want to slide until you find 10 1012 so I've got 1012 there click on 1012 press Q and that automatically puts in that file at the time 1012 1027 and Q and then I need to go to 1052 Click on 1052 and press Q. Now you have those still frames, one on top of the other, at the right time. You want to select all your images that you just imported. Go up to the blend mode and click on darken. So if I play that through, you'll see that it doesn't really look right because there's a bit of movement in the camera. So what you want to do is you want to apply a mask to each of these images that you just imported. Open up the effects and you want to draw a mask. So draw a mask, drag that onto your image. Add control points around the object, okay, that you want in the, the freeze frame. I only want her to be in the shot, so that's why I'm selecting all around. And then I'm going to do that to all images. So I'm just going to draw a mask onto the next one. If it makes it easier, you can click your previous image and press V. That just disables it for now. And then you can see that it's gone. Click in, click on your next image, and then you want to do the same thing and con create control points just around the object itself and then I'm going to press V and then go to the next one draw mask okay and then you want to go back to your images and just press V and enable them and you'll see they'll pop back up play that through that looks pretty good apart from the very end here that's just because the images here are too long and you just have to trim them to fit so I'll just quickly do that. I want them to disappear as soon as she jumps off the rail. I want them all to disappear. So I'm just going to now click on, I'm just going to trim all of the images to the same point. Now they'll disappear at that point. So if I play that through, that looks pretty good. So there's a few other things you can do to tidy it up and also create, um, or if you want to create like more of a ghost um, effect, then 
you've got a few options in the draw mask. So I like to put a bit of feather on and you'll see the more I put on, the more it kind of just is more faded. So it eats into like the object. The amount of this will depend on how close you get to the object on when you draw the control points to your mask. So I'm pretty far away, so um, you'd need quite a lot to get um, any effect. So I'm just going to put a little bit on though. Go to the next one. Again, I'm going to put a little bit of feather on. It's kind of just smoothens up these like jagged edges if you are too close to the object. So now if I play that through, so that looks pretty good. Uh, the other thing you can do, like I said, if you want to make it into more of a, like a ghost effect, all you need to do is just do the fill opacity, just reduce that a bit, and do that on all of them. And then that gives more of a ghost um, effect. Okay, so that's that one there. So with this one here, it's a little bit different. Um, it's as if she's jumping into her ghost, and then it starts again. Um, so it's a pretty cool effect and it's pretty easy to do. It's very similar to what I just did. Uh, again, what you want to do is you want to find a frame that you want to save um, as an image. What I'm going to do is because this is all slow-mo and then it goes to here and then speeds up, I'm going to do it at the very end, so at 19.15. So what I'm going to do is save that current frame, 19.15. So now that I've got that in here, I want to look on the timeline to see where I want um, it to slowly fade in. So I want it to fade in about there. Okay, so you just drag this image to that point. Okay, uh, again, you need to go up to the blend mode and press darken. So if I just play that back, you'll see, yep, she jumps in at about 1915, boom. Looks good, but you just have to now go to 1915 and cut off the end here. Cut it to 1915. Then it looks like she jumps into the ghost and then goes. Again, you want to apply that draw mask around the object. So I'm just going to disable that bottom clip and then it gives me a good, good clear um, outline of the object. Okay, so that's all I want in that shot. Um, and then go back to this original and press V and enable it. That looks pretty good, but you can play around with this a little bit more and make it a little bit better, tidy it up. I'm going to slowly fade this ghost in. All you need to do is you need to go to your draw mask, uh, your fill opacity. So at the very start, I'm going to bring it down to 0% and click a keyframe. And then I'm going to go along a little bit, say about there, and go all the way up to 100 and now you'll see that it slowly fades in. If you like this edit, then give us a like, comment, or subscribe. Um, until next time, cheers.